Twice a week in the last couple of months, a team of marine scientists, researchers, and volunteers go out in the sea to conduct a survey dolphin population off the coast of Dubai. Led by Dr. Ada Natoli, assistant professor at the College of Natural and Health Sciences at Zayed University and founder and director of the UAE Dolphin Project Initiative, they spend three to four hours out on sea during each trip. Their mission is to gather scientific data and produce baseline information of marine resources. This data will be used to assess the number of species, population, structure, and if possible, predict population trend of local dolphins. We are conducting a um, dolphin surveys in Dubai water with the target to assess the currents, uh, the frequency, and uh, um, the residency of the population here. Um, the survey covers about 1,000 square meters of Dubai coastal waters. We generally go out about 20 kilometers uh, from Port Rashid up to all the way to Jebel Ali Sanctuary. We are focusing on uh, uh, all uh, uh, marine megafauna, not necessarily only dolphins. Obviously, dolphins are our um, um, iconic species, so the species that we are focusing specifically, but during the survey we also collect data about uh, turtles, uh, uh, sea snakes if we see them, and uh, different type of bird species, especially cormorants that we know they are uh, endangered in this area. So uh, if we do not protect each population, we basically miss uh, a lot in terms of uh, biodiversity within the species that is crucial for the species survival. We're so excited to be starting this Dubai Dolphin Survey which we started at the beginning of February actually this year and it's a year-long survey that looks at assessing the dolphin populations obviously off the coast of Dubai from Port Rashid all the way down to Jebel Ali Wildlife Sanctuary. Now obviously this is of critical importance understanding the distribution and the habitat preference of uh, marine mammals and dolphins in particular will allow us to um, better implement conservation action and inform governments on how they can do that, giving the scientific uh, basis and the scientific research.